This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Oxford Heavy Duty Chain and Padlock Combination. It's the model OF157. The package includes everything you see here, which is one meter of a nine and a half millimeter thick hardened steel security chain with a nylon cover and also pass through links. And by that, I mean the links will fit through each other such that you can lock the chain up by only putting your padlock shackle through one of the chain links. Now that's not particularly necessary when you're using a lock like this, which has a very large shackle. But if you choose to use this chain with a lock that has a much more protected shackle, something like this Vero Thor, then that arrangement does become necessary. So it's a nice feature to have. Then we have the lock itself, which has a 14 millimeter hardened steel shackle and a disc detainer core. This lock can also double as a disc brake lock, which makes it pretty nice. There's a few other interesting features about this. One is that we have a rotating dust cover to keep grime out of your core. And there's also something in the construction of this lock that I don't see on even much more expensive locks. And that is the fact that inside of all this, I don't think you can see it now, but let me get a light. Inside of all this, we have a metal construction. I believe it's cast zinc on the inside, though it may be aluminum. However, on even some more expensive locks, and I mean much more expensive locks, what you'll see is plastic on the inside of the hardened steel tube. So that's a really nice feature to see. And what makes this whole package, I think, pretty attractive is the fact that you can pick this up on Amazon right now for $25. And I think that's a pretty good value for a low to medium security bike lock arrangement. So what we're going to do today is see what it takes to pick into this lock. So let's get this locked up. And I'm going to be using a disc detainer pick that I don't think you've seen before. And before I show you the pick, I'm going to show you why I made it. Now you've seen in some past videos, particularly with the kryptonite locks, I had to partially disassemble the locks because most of my disc detainer picks have a very short space right here. This one's only about nine millimeters thick. So I can't reach very deeply into the lock to pick it. Um, this nine millimeter reach, frankly, just isn't enough for most locks. And even my much more expensive one that I use for, for Abus locks and things like that doesn't quite have enough reach. So what I did was I took an old Chinese abloy pick I had that frankly couldn't be used to pick any abloys. I cut the whole tip off of it and made a, a pick tip and filed it into shape, added some bushings in here, put some tensioning handles, which are actually pieces that I took off of my wife's ring rack, and the whole thing works pretty nicely. It's, uh, the bushings are very, very smooth. I'm still getting used to it, but it seems to be working out so far. So. Let's see how this new tool works. Now the first thing we have to do when picking a lock like this is to rotate all of the discs as far clockwise as they will go. And then I'm going to counter rotate just the top disc a little bit to make sure I don't insert the pick too far. Okay, I think I've got that where I want it. Let's get the pick in now. Okay, we're tensioning off of the first disc, so let me start by looking for the second. Okay, we have the second disc now. Got to click out of the second. On to the third. Click on the third. On to number four. Okay, I think we have four set. Moving on to five. Okay, I think five was set right where it was. 
six. Six doesn't appear to be binding at all. And neither is seven. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. Okay, looking for number two again. And two is binding. Okay, I think I've got two set. On to three. Okay, three was binding, got him set. On to four. Four is not binding. Five, five seems set. Six, and it looks like we got it open. Okay, so I did not feel any false gates in this. It seemed to just be a normal, or at least what we would expect from any Chinese made disc container lock, which is what this is. So it is, I will call it pick resistant if for no other reason than the tools and skills required to open these disc container locks don't tend to be very common. But as far as disc container locks go, it's not a particularly hard one to open. So that's all I have for you on this Oxford heavy duty chain and padlock combination model OF157. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.